What's up, everyone? Welcome to Smack Talk Talk and DraftKings. It's week 14. So if you're not in the playoffs and you haven't started DraftKings, now's the time. And if you're in the playoffs, then you know what you're doing. So also, now's the time. Click on the link or follow the card. Follow all of the stuff that we have uh, in, the, in the description. Deposit some money. Pick some of these guys. Win some cash. Okay. So what I try to do in DraftKings is do 5,000 and below, but I'm going to go a little bit higher for the first running back. So the first running back's Rawls. He's 5,700, but man, I think that's a great value. And I know he's playing Green Bay, right? Green Bay's a tough run defense, but Rawls just looked so great last week. Over 100 yards, two touchdowns. I just think for 5,700, I think he's pretty much a must play. I just absolutely think it's a fantastic deal. Now the next guy... I talked about in the rankings, and if you own him, you hated him in season-long leagues, and that's Todd Gurley, but he's only $5,000 playing Atlanta. Atlanta is one of the worst, second worst uh, rush defenses in terms of giving up fantasy points, so could Gurley have a good game? This is the kind that he can. So I actually do like him in tournament plays. I think he's interesting because a lot of people aren't going to be using him, and you know, $5,000 is super cheap. Going on to wide receivers, a little bit different play. Going to start with Mitchell first. Mitchell on New England is $4,200 playing against the Baltimore Ravens. Who else is Tom Brady throwing it to, really? I mean, he's got Edelman. Bennett's not, he's not using him nearly as much as I thought that he was going to. And Mitchell's had 17 targets in the last two weeks. So, yeah, DraftKings is PPR, 17 targets. I don't see how you can't use Mitchell because he's only $4,200. That is so, so, so cheap. The next guy has a little over $5,000. It has a super tough matchup, and that's Matthews for the Tennessee Titans playing Denver. But he's only 5,100. And the thing that I think is very interesting about him being at 5,100, I know Denver's super tough, but the last four weeks, he's averaged 19.8 points. They were, of course, on a bye last week, so the four weeks that he's played, obviously, 19.8 points. Guys that have been averaging much of those four weeks, they normally price adjust up to 1,500 more than they've been, you know, they go up about five, no, $2,500 each week when that's been happening. So the fact they haven't price adjusted him coming off the buy is simply because of the matchup, but still, it's a great play and a lot of people are gonna steer clear of it. So again, he's more of a tournament play, not my 50-50 plays. In terms of any play, quarterback, I'm gonna go with Kirk Cousins. The thing about Cousins that I really like is they're playing Philly. It's a must-win game for the Redskins. And in DraftKings, he's the 13th highest quarterback, or 13th if you were to go by the money, where on FST, we have him inside the top 10, you know. So due to that, you're getting a little bit of value there. 6,300 is also a really good deal for a solid top 10 play quarterback. Ladarius Green's my tight end. I absolutely love this guy. He has made all of my lineups this week. Boomer bust time, Ladarius Green. I'm going to double down. I hate to chase points from a week ago, but I think Ladarius Green has opened up that Steelers offense so much. He looked so good. 11 targets last week. He's going to get a ton again against Buffalo. 3,900. As far as defense go, I am shocked myself. I am saying this, but Dustin talked me into it because of the rankings. 49ers. 2,600, that is such a cheap defense. That's because they are a terrible defense, but the Jeff o Jets offense has been abysmal. So due to that, this is also one of the lowest over the Jets team total is one of the lowest over-unders. So I don't think the Jets are gonna put up a ton of points. They could, so don't go nuts with the Jets. It's just kind of, you know, if they have, you know, with, the, with, the, with the kid they have starting a quarterback, turnovers, sacks, pick six, all these potentials. So don't go nuts with the Niners but they're so cheap. All right, good luck this week. Week 14, had a solid week last week. I'm, I'm banking a lot on Green. I'm banking a lot on Mitchell. I'm banking a lot on Rawls this week personally. Good luck to you.